What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Chris and Kim, man. Okay, good 710, man. What's cracking with y'all today? Man, it's been one hell of a week. I can't say that. Especially with the flower, you know, reading up more on this unity bill. Ah, oh, man. I'm praying for these growers, man, and these dispensary owners. Ooh. But we got another review for y'all today. Look at him. You see him? He's going to the box, ladies and gentlemen. What the hell he gonna pull out of that today? I don't know myself, but we all gonna stay tuned. But I am doing uh Norma's Dream. I'm pretty sure y'all heard a lot about it, man. It was a podcast on it, it was on the news. Lady Norma been trying to get weed legalized here. For uh, uh, 30 years, man, over 30 years, man. And one of the guys that went to jail came, played around with some strains once it went legal, named it after Norma. This was Norma's dream to have legal marijuana in Oklahoma, from what I'm understanding. And Norma's dream came true. We thank Norma for her dream and sacrifices that she went through. Salute you, Norma. But we finna taste Norman's dream. That's what I'm doing a review on today. It was a 50-50, so it's a hybrid. Now, when he say 50-50, I know that it's, you know, he's saying 50%. Well, I'm assuming he's saying 50% indica, 50% sativa. I'm hoping he's not saying 50% THC, 50% CBD. But we won't know that until, like I said, the unity bill and everything goes actually in the full effect. So I've already have some of, uh, a little bit of the... Uh, Norma's dream broke down here. I was gonna grab a little more, make sure this is a nice size L. Bro, what you gonna do today? What you, what you? Uh, I don't know, I'm just experimenting. Uh, you gonna do a concoction over there? Let's see here. Yeah, I didn't need much more, man. I had a nice, pretty size L here. I'm gonna roll up for that Norma's dream. But, uh, yeah, uh, getting ready to taste that for y'all and do a review on it. Like I said, I pray that it's 50 Indica, 50 uh, Sativa, because I knew it was a hybrid. I just didn't know the dominance or the actual uh, numbers on it, undisclosed, so on and so forth. So, uh, bro actually is... Okay, I'm going to do strawberry. Strawberry cough. No. Strawberry what? Kush. Strawberry Kush. Where we get that at? Johnny's. Johnny Appleseed, man. That's where Norma's is at, too. They say that Norma's, you can only get it at three dispensaries in Oklahoma. You know, period. That it was a strain done here. Can't get it in any other state. And there's only three dispensaries in Oklahoma that carry it. Johnny Appleseed is one of them. I don't know where the other two, outside of the owner, the being the second person, the grower, you can get it from. And it's one other dispensary that carries Norma's Dream. Uh, here in Oklahoma. So, for those that are interested in it, Johnny Appleseed is one. Uh, and you can probably contact the actual grower and see what the other one is at. So, the other dispensary that he distributes to. But, uh, Norma's Dream, we're going to check her out, see what it's like. The look, beautiful. D nice red, red uh, uh, fibers all through it, man. The, the trichomes were. Nice and, and, and crystally, man. It, it's you know, nice, but it's really, 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 really like it's. I don't say green, and it ain't too lime green either. But it has red, just rampant all through it. It's it's a Christmas tree. It's red and green all through the entire nuts that we receive, or the bud period. Uh, it's not no sticky and no sensation. It's kind of a, you know, when you break it down, you get not of a crunchy dry. But you can feel where it's, it's, it's the cure had set in just right. It ain't, you know, nothing that's going to turn the bone dust when you start. Y'all you know, you know what I mean. That L you roll up and you can't hit it because, you know what I mean, it's pure dust. You got to actually smoke that into a pipe or uh, 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 leave it in chunks. No, it don't It don't break down like that. But it is does have the substance where it will burn nice and slow. So the look and the smell oh, is there. It's, uh, it's not too sticky, you know, the actual buds, but the smell and the look, 
I'd have to get, you know, I, I would agree with Norma. They look pretty good. Nice little smell. It's like I said again, it's not no smell that's gonna be all uh all in the car, but you'll know that it's in the car. It's not loud, loud, but it's loud. So I want you to understand that, you know, the difference. You have some flower that you can smell somebody drive past, burning or not burning. And you have some flower where you have to actually get over in the car to smell it. This will be the one you have to actually get over in the car to smell. You know, this is this ain't the one you're gonna smell going down the street, burning or not burning. So, with that being said, we're ready to roll up. Bro, you say you doing strawberry? Yep, strawberry cushion. What is you gonna do with this, bro? Look, I got some blue dream sugar wax. What you gonna make with that? Well, as soon as I get it to where it'll move around, I'm gonna mix some keef with it. Let it sit for a day or two. Concoction. See? Yeah. Make me a blunt. His own doctor. You see what I'm saying? That's gonna be something. Like, he come home from a hard day at work, slinging mud, hurting, been on them paddle boards all day. Ain't that what it is? On them boards all day. He come home and smoke that board. Hey man, like I told him, them concentrates, I'm, I'm getting there. I gotta crawl before I walk, man. That ain't something, that ain't a hill I'm gonna run down. But you get to running down that hill, you gotta be ready. That concentrate is almost like mainline and the edible. Really, because not only is the, the, the potency higher, but it's just like that's where the marijuana part of it come in. You can only inhale so much of it, but the potency is that much higher. So what you are inhaling is a concentrated value of it. So, mm, like I said, it's like mainline and that, that, that edible. Put this right then. Wow. Them dabs. Oh, yeah. You can't run from that, baby. It's all over. You got to ride that to the end. But just like inhaling or smoking, you can only inhale so much and through the bloodstream, through the lungs, into the body, into the system. It'd be different when we inhale. We didn't have no smoke to blow out, and it was all carbon monoxide. But then we was able to absorb 100% of the THC that we smoked. And, uh, it'd be a lot different, but that's not possible. You're going to have to exhale, bro. You can only take in so much of the marijuana. Boy, but we finna show her cause she's stinking, stinking. And that's you know you got some good blood. When you I'm burning and I can smell the tree right up under me on top of this burning nail. So you know you got a pretty cool flower. We can really see what the taste and the high is like. And the way I can still tell you the difference in the highs is because I choose to start off with a lower level. You know, I might not have to smoke at 35 in the morning. Sometimes I need to, but I don't. Because I have things to do. And I know that 35 going to have me dragging ass everywhere. So I, sometimes I'll have to take me a month 19, 22. You know what I mean? And smoke one or two of those. Outside of blowing that 35, 32% or and be dragging ass all morning. I can't, uh-uh. So with that being said... I started off with a lower, and now I'm finna move up cause, to a, a higher dose, a, a better bud. So I'll still be able to tell you the difference in not only the taste, of course, but the actual high. Cause that little doobie was nothing. Bro, what is you doing over here, man? You know I roll one? Yeah. Straight, and that's the uh, strawberry. Strawberry Kush. Strawberry Kush. Johnny Appleseed. Shout out Johnny Appleseed, man. Aaron, uh, Mark, everybody down there. The other Aaron, Hayden. Shout out Johnny's, man. They got some nice prices. And, man, they the home with a 35, man. 32 percent. So, that being said, man, tell them Chris and Cam sent you, man. Okay, Kush. 710 YouTube. Uh, okay, Kush underscore. 710 for Snapchat, man. Okay, Kush, Chris, and Cam for Facebook. Get at us, man. Like, subscribe, ask questions, man. Chris will answer. Sometimes I answer. Sometimes that's both of us sitting here conglomerately answering. Yeah, big word. Don't you 
what you did. Again, I am rolling up Norma's dream. No, I didn't add any wax or no hash or nothing extra to it tonight. Straight normal, man. We're going to see what she's like because somebody to go through all of that and come up with a strain and for its actual purpose. And not only for a purpose, but to represent someone, man. I want to know what it tastes like, man. I want to be able to give you an honest review on it. Instead of putting my twist on it, and you know, I only really want to do that is when I'm really hurting and I really need to medicate. It's when I add a little concentrate or this or that to my blood or my joint, depending on what I'm smoking, that they choose to smoke. So, with that being said, I'm going to drink. Immediately, man, I get the tickle in my nose. So, it's got a cool little taste. Checked her out, out of the qualities. I mean, the look. I mean, did you like the way it looked? Oh yeah, that's beautiful. And smell. But what? I, so what was it? The high or the taste that got you? There's something extra on that taste. I just can't. I just can't figure out what it is, and I don't know. It just didn't do me right. And see, I tasted all the doubt. That's only the third or fourth hit, but like, I had to. You know how you have to fight with your breath when you be trying to breathe? Well, that was. What? Well, Why is it taking so long to heat up? That's crazy. But yeah, I can feel it expanding in my lungs. You know, when, like I said, when you be fighting with your air, trying to breathe in, but you want to cough? Oh, excuse me. Man, it is. On me. But the smell and the look were there. I, like I said, it looks like a little small Christmas tree. Green, red fibers all through it. They got like an orangish hue. If you put a light on them real close, but looking from afar in the distance, they look dark red, man. Almost like a blood orange. They were nice, nice, nice nuggets, man. Uh, no problems in the look and the smell. Like I said, it was a decent smell. It wasn't nothing that was just loud, loud, but... If you stuck your head in the car, you're going to know there's something in there. But it's not that when you ride by, whether it's burning or not, that's the bug we want. That 35 percenter that you can't hide. I mean, he's sticking out like a sore thumb uh, on, a, on a skinny motherfucker. He, he's, man, he's just out there. That'll do it too. That'll do it too. You want both of them? Really heat that motherfucker up? No, that's what you're trying to do. Yeah, look at that motherfucker sitting there, like, just sit there. That, that, what's the name is? That, boy, look how they take that glass in. There it goes. He, he, up against the side. Hold on, hold on, hold on. because it's physically in my head uh, uh, giving me reactions in the head but it's a mental you know cerebral 
a sativa, excuse me, it's a cerebral drug. It's, you know, sativa is an upper, the thinker, to keep you going, the motivator. Uh, the indica, again, is the body drug. It is the slow you down, movement, uh, pain. Uh, it's, you know, like a heavy acetaminophen. You know, like a, you know, I can say that, but uh, I say a real heavy one, but not as heavy as like you no know, Luritab or nothing like that. So, but it would still have the potency to stop any pain, just like any analgesic that you'd be looking for. So, remember, you know, doses is, is everything, man. Because you don't you don't want to overdose, and I mean, I say overdoses take so much that you pass out, not overdose to die, no. No, I've never heard of nobody smoking so much they didn't wake up. It's hard to stop. Uh, paralysis of anything. Like, never heard of it. So, I mean, if you overdose and you pass out and don't remember the night, that would be considered an overdose to me. You know what I mean? You eat that thousand milligram brownie and it's your first time smoking. That's an overdose. You're going to pass out and you're not going to remember nothing until probably... 12 hours later, that was over though. Some say it ain't. Hey, it was amazing. I had the best sleep of my life. But you did. You was in a damn near a coma. Because <laughs> you load all your organs down, bro. Slower than you probably ever had before. You have to gradually take them through these drugs, man, through these medicines. This ain't nothing. You think your doctor just be coming in there and say, hey, we're going to give you this strong stuff off top. If you do it for a good reason, surgeries, stuff like that. But you get a paper cut on your finger, he's not finna hand you no Vicodin, man. You know what I mean? You gotta understand, there's, there's levels to this shit, like Meek said. So, shout out, <clears throat> hey, shout out Johnny Appleseed and uh, uh, Herbal Cure as well, man. Firehouse, the ones that do keep those bomb ass strains, man. Eden, they have some nice ones. Well, I still haven't been in even more yet. And I still haven't been in, um, oh, anointed. They keep some bomb ass fl uh, 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 flour in there, man. You know, it's just to each his own. Various assorted, man, in every one of the uh, businesses, man. So please check them out. Tell them, okay, Kush, Chris, and Cam, Century 7 1 Z, bro. Man, bro, what is the hell? Well, y'all can smell this. Smells fresh green, don't it? Golly. And you only use a chunk of that. What's the name, too? Let me I'm see. I'm not done. You gonna fill it up? Yes. Bro, that's at a consistency now. You might have to smoke a bowl of it, but. No, we're going for the blunt. Bro, you know you're gonna have to put some kind of flour with that, right? If you think that, then I'm not done adding dry. Feel me? Right. Because <clears throat> that's my goal. Is to not have to add no flour. Right. And smoke it just like this. Yes. But you know, I'm just saying as far as... You let me add that. You, know, you sure can. I ain't even gonna fill it out. I meant far as, you remember that bomb that man, we used to have that would break down all the way to dust and it would be hard to smoke when you rolled it? Uh -huh. If you didn't leave it in chunks or like some people would have to even poke a hole like down the L somewhere so it had like a car. You remember that? Uh -huh. I'm, that's what I'm thinking the consistency of that is right now. Can you smoke a bun of straight key? Never tried. I've dusted L's with Keith. I, I've used it for all kind of, but I've never rolled just a straight blunt of keep. Mm -hmm. That would be something to try, huh? See how it burn, huh? I've always used it, you know, taking a distillate or um, <clears throat> taking any shatter and melting it down and coating the outside of my joint, and I would roll it in the keef. I've even rolled it in bubble hash before, man. You know, take a little hash and spread it out like flour. And once you get the the uh, actual oil outside of the L, on outside of the joint, or even outside of the bowl. You know, you put your flour in the bottom, you put your oil on top of the flour, and then you sprinkle your keef on top of the oil. Even in a bowl, it can be done. And then light it with that keef or that bubble hash burning on the outside. 
Oh man, it's another world, man. And like I said, I've played. Y'all know, I've played and mixed and matched and made all kind of type of different blunts. So to each his own, man. But yeah, you see, and it goes out. That's the first time it's still went out about half the blunt. I didn't add anything to it. Like I said, the look and the smell, they're there, decent. You know, they them alone would make me purchase it again. The taste. <clears throat> I'm not getting too much of a taste. It's like bland, you know. I'm not getting like nothing to make my mouth water. It's making my mouth dry, of course, you know, but just something that I'm, you know, oh, you know, I don't, it's like a bland taste. But the high is, is very, very uh, revealing, man. It's not nothing that walk up on you. I'm getting it expands. You take that into consideration when you go to pulling on it. It do expand in your lungs. So, you know, judge to each his own on how big of a pull you take when you take them. Because it is trying to make me cough every time I pull on it. Bro, I'm gonna have a hell of a concoction over there. Bro, I don't think I want no parts of that. That shit look like it's gonna be ready tomorrow. Put some my like, sleep sleep. Yeah, they going all the way night night. Sugar wax, blue dream, blue something sugar wax. <clears throat> blue dream, seventy nine point seven percent THC. Remember, this is a concentrate. Okay, so you this is way gonna be way higher. The percentage ratings are different on this than they are flour. The flour there are other carcinogens or, or CBDs, cannabinoids, in there with that TAC. This extract is TAC alone, and it is a higher volume of. So we'll take that into consideration when you go to buying these concentrates. I don't fuck with a lot of them, boy. But a lot of them I do. You know, the, the, the distillate, I can get that in the cartridges. Or the, uh, not cartridges, but the the uh, syringes, man. And you can take, remember, know the difference. Some of those syringes are RSO or that, that's sublingual. You, you have to swallow or ingest. So I ask him, are these the blunt syringes? Is this the syringe I can put on my blunt? Or I can put in my bowl? Or the syringes that I use to make my moon rock with. It has to be a distillate or some type of TAC oil. It can be, uh, that, uh huh? I got a little bit of that shit on this blunt. Tell the taste instantly. Uh, you got, you end up wiping yeah. some? Yeah. Oh, the whole key? Not like this, yeah. Oh, of the mixture, not just the sugar wax. Oh, okay. Man, see? Instant difference. He's hurting. So. That being said, I'm, yeah, he gonna have to have that. That is looking crazy, man. <coughs> I never thought about that. <coughs> any kind of wax with my uh, Keith and blowing it down. <coughs> Even bowls of that wax mixture right there, that wax Keith would be dumb. Even bowls of it would be dumb, dumb. Leave a chunk in there to dab. That's what you ought to do. So you can really see what that wax key tastes like. Well, fuck it. Dump it all in there. That's what you plan on doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know it, boy. I know it. Boy, yeah, that there is going to be something mighty dangerous. Please roll more than one. Huh? Huh, my ass, <laughs> man. It look like it only been a one. Nah. Bro, don't don't tell yourself that right now, because you're gonna be trying to fit it in one. For all you two, <clears throat> at least one <laughs> to say the other half of it to sprinkle on something. You know what I mean? Put that in some flour later. You got the light already turned up. Yeah, I ain't gonna feel it. Ah, uh, yeah, man. But uh, you see, she keeps. Getting me off of my subject, all normal. First two out of my four is great. Like I said, they would make me the smell and the look. I buy normal again. 
the taste, I really don't get no fruity taste to it. It's just, you know, weed, you know, medicine, medical, me, uh, excuse me, she got me tongue tied. It's just medical marijuana, man. So, so I'm not getting a real fruity taste from it. Norma's dream, I mean, it didn't, I didn't see what the two crosses were that he used to try to distinguish. I mean, I get a cool, nice little like, it's not like an oak or wood tasting, but, but it's not, it's not nothing fruity, not nothing that would make me want to, you know, roll the next one or smoke, and, you know, to this one, you know, to myself and not share. It's not one of those, like, man, this tastes so good, I don't want to pass it. I've had it, I was like, this, this ain't it, as far as taste-wise, but the high is impeccable. I'm actually over here in my thoughts right now, so tongue tied, nothing in the body. Like I'm still shoulders still, you know, mess with me from earlier. But I, I, I mean, it, it's it's working on me, and I can tell uh, actually from my my speech and uh, just my my breathing and everything. So. I can tell the 50 50 part of it, you know. I'm getting not that I'm not laboring or anything like that, but what happened? Drops a little bit. Oh, on the inside thing? Oh, well, you got it, I was gonna say. Bro, danger. That right there, boy. You ought not be hurting for a while. I take little pinches of it and put it on top of mine. Like I showed y'all the other episode, leave like that much gap on, on the end. You're going to put the fire on and fill that gap in with your wax, your your hash, your good keef, man. You know what I mean? Fill that top in mind. Well, I say keef. Keef should be used and, you know, sprinkled extra. But your concentrates, man, put you a nice little, fill that top part of it in. With whatever concentrate, wax or whatever. When you light it and that wax turn into a liquid, it's literally going to run down the inside of the blunt. You will see. And if your paper is thin enough, you know, you one paper, you know, the ones that do use the cigarette or if the wax is thick enough and you use both papers, it will bleed through on the outside and will bubble up and everything straight through the paper. It don't matter if you put it on your side or out. Leave your little space at the top. Like, wipe your nice little chunk off on the inside and light it. Turn it up right so it don't fall out. Especially if it's that bubble head because it's grainy. And turn it up and light it. And when that oil gets hot, it will run down all and saturate the rest of the flour. And making it like I told him the other day. It's like walking up to the bar and saying, give me a double. Yeah, because the weed might have started off at a 30%. But now when it's turning to its concentrate form, it's a 60 or a 70. And you just added it to the 30%. So you see, that's a little more in the double. Because you just kicked up that actual flavor, that not only flavor, but concentrate. Look at this. We just made a glass chamber. Is it on? Don't want to lose nothing. Is it on? Should be. Yeah. Wait till. So tomorrow that I'll be ready. I don't know about that. Sit like it a little bit, and dry, and, and then I'll let it sit all night. And hopefully it'll be dry enough to smoke. If not, I'll add some more cake to it. Man, tell me about that strawberry, bro. You been over here concocting, I ain't asked you shit about it. Uh, it don't taste like strawberry. Ah, dang, bang. So the, what it look yeah, like? Yeah, it look taste like strawberry, but not the white here. So what the, the look was cool? The smell. I'm just saying, is this a bud that you'll buy again? Mm -hmm. The strawberry. Look cool. Nah. You wouldn't buy that again? Got them girls got cookies in there that they don't want. I go back in there for them. Wow, look, look. Because <laughs> that was good. Because he said, now that was what I liked. But, again, like I said, to each his own, man. But look at that, though. 
That's the cookie. That was, yeah, that was on a mid show. And it's got an actual fruity smell. That's what I'm talking about. But it, it's just not as dense for me. You know, I like them. I don't know, I already tried it out. It was there. It's there. See, and now, you know me, like I said, I want, you know, them thick, coarse nuggets. That nugget be tight as your fist when you ball it up. Not that loose and fluffy one. I want that, I can just break the tip off. Boom, that's a whole L right there. Big nuggets, thick, dense nuggets. I like them myself personally. That's you know when I go to find bud, I go to look for that. Cause not only am I getting more in each nugget, but nine times out of ten, the concentrated ones, man, and be in that form. I, I've seen a few fluffier, you know, a higher level TSCs, but the Rainmaker was one. It was it wasn't as dense. It was it was you know um, less coarse, you know, so more fluffy. So that nugget, you know, potency, it was it shocked me. Normally the I see the potency being the tighter nuggets, the more <coughs> dense, you know, myself. But hey, everybody grows different. Okay, Kush 710. Shout out High Hemp, man. Again, High Hemp and um Swisher Black, man. Y'all get at us, we blow the hell out of y'all. Shout out to Johnny Appleseed, man. Um Norma's dream, I would buy again to smoke, but it would it would it wouldn't be one of my first like run tos. Norma is cool. She her high is amazing. But and her taste and her look, or excuse me, her look and her smell is wonderful. But I'm not her taste I'm not too big on. It's not giving me either in, you know, of whether it's just gonna be something fruity or just something super. You know, mouth watering. You know, even if I don't get a fruity smell, it, it makes me salivate or it makes my mouth water when I hit it. Like, damn, what is that? You know, I'm looking for it. It didn't give me that. But as far as the actual, the high, the look, and the smell, all of those, I would give it three out of a four, man. I would buy it again. I can't put it in the jar because I'm going to the 30 plus club, man. I got to so start stepping the game up. And, so it wouldn't go in my jar, you know what I mean? But I would buy Norma's again. Norma's Dream was decent. I do like it. Uh, what you think about the strawberry? It's cool. Would you buy it again? Probably not. Mm -hmm. I, I like. I mean, like it's something I was smoking in the morning or something. But like shit, when I get out of work, I'm gonna need something a little bit heavier. Right. A little bit of stronger potency to deal with your, you know, your pain and your ailments. I get that. I get that. So, but as far as, you know, if you have a choice, of course you're going to go for the higher potency. So, yeah. But normal would be, I mean, not normal, excuse me. Strawberry would be something down the line you might grab again just to, you know, taste it again. Because like I said, you got to think about it. These strains change with each different flower. The taste as well. <sighs> You gotta remember, each flower ain't gonna taste like the next flower. I don't mind. Next the, uh, I don't mind smoking like the heavy ones in the morning. So that's why I'm. Gonna, I mean, I'm just gonna try to stick to to the heavy shit. Right. Man. Which is like you say, the thirties and above. Yeah, thirty plus club, man. It's grown man weed, man. And I'm really, really after. That's why I was good in the beginning back then, twenty eight. 29, but once I actually saw 35, 32, that Schnozberry, the 31.8, that was back, that's a Cali flavor. Um, that Biscotti, man, I know that was a 30, and that, that, that Cheetos Breath, oh my God, those are Cali plug flavors, man, but I know them was 30 plus clubs, that stuff, that's, you know, I was hooked then, I knew, like, this is what I need, I don't need a lot of it, you know, when you go from smoking ounce and a half, two ounces every seven days, you know, down to maybe three quarters an ounce, man, in that week. Maybe like three quarters would last me uh, in seven days, man. You know, the potency different. I'm smoking, you know, one to two blunts, you know, a day one in the morning and one at night. You know what I mean? I had a little concentrate to that one at night. But two, three blunts a day. And a half, you know, three quarters, you know, half, excuse me, half an ounce, three quarters to an ounce was lasting me a week. And that's beautiful when I was smoking an ounce and a half, two in that seven days. So, to actually be able to cut my intake down almost 
by ounce and a quarter, yeah, that tell you the potency on the weed that I'm choosing. But again, this man is killing me. That shit smell crazy, boy. Damn. Sugar wax, blue dream. Shout out Herbal Cure, man. She crazy with the concentrates up there, man. Crazy with her, boy. That's some of that. Hold your breath. I'm gonna get off the table and everything. Okay, Chris 710, man. Y'all holler at us. You got anything you wanna add, bro? Mm -mm. See? Stop in there at uh, Herbal and uh, check the smoke shop out next door. Yes, smoke shop next door. They got everything smoking utensils, tobacco products, trays. CBD products, your jewel, vape, whatever you're using, your, your jars, whatever you're talking about, they got it in there, man. Go check them out. Uh, lighters, you know what I mean? Right there at 5th Street, man. Herbal Cure and uh, what's, the, the, what's the smoke shop called? Roll them up. Roll them up, I think it is. I'm, I'm assuming. Holla yeah. at Sarah. Get that Sarah Levon. Holla at them over there, man. Uh, uh, I forgot, uh, Oh boy's name, the other one too. Three. But uh okay Kush 710, man. That's for the YouTube. Okay Kush. Uh Chris and Cam for the Facebook, man. Okay Kush underscore 710 for the Snapchat, man. Y'all get at us, man. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell us how you feel, what you want to see, what you want us to do. Bro, strawberries out. Nope. Me, I'm fuck with Norma again. She won't be one of my top fives, but I fuck with Norma again. I'll do it. But she's not going to the jar though, so okay, Chris seven one zero, man. We